Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Van Meter versus Watkins. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good morning. Ms. Van Meter, after a recent medical scare, you realize it is imperative that you prove to the defendant that he is the biological father of your three-year-old son, DeCedre. So you can put his name on the birth certificate. You are hopeful today's results will help save your family. Mr. Watkins, you say your paternity doubt has destroyed your relationship with the plaintiff, and when the results prove you are not the father, you are gone forever. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Van Meter, what is the current status of your relationship? We are not in a relationship. We just live together at the moment. Um, okay. We uh, broke up because of the simple fact that I cheated, and he has just stayed, and he's been there throughout everything. Um, throughout the whole birth, throughout my son being three now, he's just played his dad the whole time. I don't really know why he stayed. I just know he has stayed. All right. So, Mr. Watkins, what's going on in the home? Well, number one, I'm not going to leave a child without a father because I grew up without a dad. So, I must just go ahead and do what I have to do as a man and still be there. And I can see as you talk about that, you feel emotional. You've been very good to this child. Yeah. Despite your doubt, because it means something to you. Right. Also, I play father to her other child that doesn't have a father in her life, so... Okay. I'm taking care of the whole crew. And I understand that, and I respect that, but it's just, like, he makes me feel like it's a financial thing of why he has stayed, and it's not, because we're going to be okay, and, I mean, I think he could still father my child even if he's outside of the house. So, Mr. Watkins, what I want to understand from you is it's bigger than... I'm just staying in the house because this child needs to have a father. Right, because I found out she cheated. Mm -hmm. And that's what, like, I didn't understand why. Because I felt like we're all adults. If you want to be in a relationship, you're going to be in one. If you don't want to be in one, you don't. Okay, okay, well, let's let's, let's get down to the nitty-gritty, as they say. Because the cheating is what caused the paternity question. Right. All right. How did you find out she was cheating? Well... I saw her on the couch texting, but I could clearly see what she's doing. She's texting and deleting messages. And she's like, oh, I was just talking to my friend. Would you delete the messages for her? Then she pretty much was arguing about it, the fact of what she was saying. And I was like, you wasn't saying that because you deleted them. So I, I left, just cooled down, because I don't like sticking around arguing about nothing. So uh, I was coming back. Her, one of her family picked me up and told me that they saw her outside in the car doing what she was doing with the dude. What? Yeah. You said doing what she's doing. Pretty much she was having sex in the back of the car. Miss Van Meter, are you in the car with the guy you were texting? Yeah, but it was because he was leaving. Mm. And I was telling him bye at first. So... He came on to me. And it just ended up happening. It's not like it was intentional. Mm. He was just somebody... Oh, so you still. did... You did have sex with this guy you were texting and deleting messages with? Yes. So you admit that? Yes. So you had sex in front of the house in a car? Yes. And your family was inside the house? Yes. And then they told on you? Yes, Your Honor. Wow. So, Mr. Watkins, you're riding in the car. Yeah. How do you find out that it's the guy with the text messages? Well, they told... She told me who it was when... Like, when who the you actual her. person was. I was yeah. going to tell him when but, we got there. And then there. my whole thing but was... They, it you said it was a friend. Stay. You said it was a friend, right? But that person that you claimed to be as your friend was the person that you said that you dated a while back. A long time ago. So, we it was didn't... never a friend. So, you was on the phone with your ex texting... We... Well, see, yeah, basically. that's... See, that, this, this is the part. It always happens like this. Because it's always that okey-doke where it's like, it's just my friend. And that's why in this courtroom, we always ask, have you ever been intimate with that person? No. Because Your Honor. you had never been intimate with that no. person in the past? No. Me and him. So the first talk. time you ever had sex with that person was in the car? Yes. I thought Mr. Watkins just testified that this was the person that used to date previously. It she was dated I didn't him. date him. I didn't when I talked to him, it was just talking. I never done nothing. We kissed, and that was all we did. It was before I met him. And then I met him. 
and I chose not to proceed with the other guy. Okay, so, but even with the kiss, see, these are the little details huh. that add up to the drama. Because when you said to him, it's just a friend, I'm just texting, and you texting and deleting message, he knew there was smoke there. Right. He knew that because that doesn't make any sense. If you just texting a friend, then why you gotta delete the messages? And then, I, look, I'm big. If I'm in a relationship, if it's a friend of yours, it better be a friend of mine. <laughs> so if it's no friend of his, <laughs> then he knew something was up. Now you say, I never had sex with this guy before, but I did kiss him. Well, I guess they were making up for lost times. So. <laughs> but my point is, Ms. Van Meter, you do have this sexual encounter, and then you find out you're pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. How long after that? Uh, maybe a week or two after the fact. Uh, I, I, I really, I don't remember the exact date. But I, when I had sex with him, I did use protection. Mr. Watkins, you no, seem like you don't believe that. she told me she didn't that. use it. She told me she didn't use it. And then she I told, told me you she I did, did not use remember it. She said she I didn't did, remember. But I did. Then she said she didn't. Then she did. Then she said she did. So. There's, you see where my doubts come from. So, Mr. Watkins, the truth is you believe this man, this man she had the encounter with in the car, could be DeCedre's true biological father. Right. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Do you have any additional doubt or evidence? I don't really have a bond with him. Like, I love him. But every time I see him, I just see him the same way I see her daughter. Is you know, those are her kids. So I but, just see him as just a cute kid. He's cute. And he's awesome. And we play fight all the time. Sometimes he don't know when to stop. So I'm like, man, all right, he's done. <laughs> so, Mr. Watkins, when you look at DeCedre, do you see the other guy in Yeah, him? I do. He looks nothing like the other person. He looks like him. But I have, a, I have another daughter that's, that's mine that when um, me and my, my kid's mom was trying to have her, it's almost just like exercising after a while. So, you know, eventually she got pregnant. I'm not fertile. So when if you had she, a kid that when she fertile. went and did what she did, what she did like all of a sudden she's screaming she's pregnant. And then when we go, you know, the lady to tell her how many months she is, they read back to where she got pregnant and she got pregnant around the same time that she cheated. It, took it doesn't almost like mean five, that you're months. not fertile. It could have been on her end that could... I don't know. It could have been any. Well, Ms. Van Meter, okay. I'll have to say that I do agree with you on that. I mean, if he impregnated one woman, he could, in fact, impregnate another one, barring some circumstance that would render him, you know, unable to impregnate a woman. But you do understand that his doubt... Yeah, and I... ...surrounding the timeline is real. I, and I know that, and I told him that, and I respected that, and I told him he didn't have to stay. He has chose to stay. He was there during the whole birth. He was there. He cut my son's umbilical cord. But, Ms. Van Meter, have you ever told the other guy it, he potentially was DeCedre's biological father? I ran into him when my son was three months old, and he asked me if I ever found out if my son was his or not, and I told him that I did because I didn't want him involved, just because I want him to be the dad, because my son actually just like him. He so... He like me because he's around me. He's going to take up things from me. But he looks... But I want... And also, I want to understand this, though. You were admitting, Ms. Van Meter, that when you saw the other guy, you lied and said you had a test and that he was not the child's biological father. Yeah, because I seen him with his child and with my daughter, which do doesn't have a dad in her life, and I seen how he was. Right, so you made a conscious choice to lie to the other potential father so that he would be off the trail of paternity and wouldn't try to establish that he was the biological father because you decided in your mind you wanted Mr. Watkins to be the biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Van Meter... At this point, you admit that there are two possible biological fathers for your child. Yes. So his doubt is real. Yes. So this story you go to all the time of he just stayed and he can go because we're going to be all right and everything you go through, all that stuff is ancillary. Because the truth is there's real paternity doubt here. But you're saying that you consciously 
threw the other guy off the trail because you wanted him to be your child's biological father because you saw him with the other children. Yeah. So I feel like even the testimony of he can go because we're going to be all right and I don't care is a lie too. Because if you didn't really care if he stayed or if he went, then why would you throw the other guy off the trail? Because I love him and I do want our relationship to work. It's not like that I don't care if he leaves or not because it would hurt me. It really would. I do love him and I care about him, but I don't so want him to feel like So the truth is you do want your relationship to work. Yes, I do. And you do want him to be the father of your child, not just in deed, right? Yes. But in name as well. Yes. In biology. Yes. And you're hoping that these paternity results will save the relationship. That is because I had a scare about my cancer um, and I had a biopsy done. At the end of the day, if something happens to me, I want my son to know who his dad is because I want him to be there for that person and to know that he loves him and all that. Who is on DeCedre's birth certificate? Who's listed as father? Nobody. I'm the only one on there. But he has Mr. Watkins' last name. He named him. No, I named his first name, you middle name. You named him his I told you to name, name him your last name. You said no, because that's what chicks do when they don't know who the father is. No, yeah, I he told did. you. He, we sat down and we had a conversation because my son is named after somebody in his family. And we sat down and had that conversation and he chose for my son to be named who he is. Then why didn't I put my name on a birth certificate? Because I'm not going to put my name on a birth certificate or give somebody my last name when I don't think they're mine. So you're saying that you didn't give her permission to give DeCedra your last name. No, I didn't. But you do admit you picked out the name DeCedra. Yeah, I did, I did. She says she don't care if I was to leave or ask him why am I here or all this other stuff. But actually, in reality, she does because I am the only one who fronts all the bills. I work three jobs to take care of all of them. Nobody asked you to do that. We I appreciate do it. Because, I do it and because I have to. I know you do. To. And I know you do it because you love us and you care about us and you want to be there, but we didn't ask you. I mean, I okay. don't take anything for granted that he has done. But if it I wasn't don't. for me, you would not have a roof over your head. There's shelters you, that yeah, we could you go will, to. Yeah. Nobody's going to choose a shelter for their kids. It doesn't matter if I don't, need to don't do that. Don't talk like that, because that didn't only make sense. Okay, but if I you need know to do why, a shelter you already for the know time why being, I'm there. And why you... I get on my feet, then that is the... So case. listen, listen, listen. The man has stood by you, been through the birth with you, has helped raise your children. You standing there over and over again telling him how you just don't want him to feel trapped and he can go and he can go, he can go. I know your children up there talking about, Mommy, don't speak for me. Because mm-hmm. I'm not trying to go to the shelter. I mean... I, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What I am trying to get at is the emotions that you're showing in this courtroom today. What it looks like is you are now... Some, in some way deflecting that there is some level of guilt or there's something you're wrestling with. Maybe it's a defense mechanism. I don't know what it is, but everything you're stating in this courtroom right now contradicts every action you've taken up until this point. It doesn't even make sense. And that's why I have to ask you, I know you want him to be the biological father. I do want him the, to the, be... Listen, thank you. Just tell the truth. I do, I, and I do want him All to right, love so him. you want him to be the biological father. Yeah, because I don't want to hurt him. But the truth there. is, is you do not know for certain that he is. No, I don't. Just tell the truth, yeah. okay? Don't sit up here and talk to man in circles and everything. He working three jobs to try to take care of you. He doesn't even know. He knows the other children aren't his. This one, he doesn't know if he is, but he's still there. He's paying bills. He's standing by your side. He's at the hospital. And all he gets in this moment is you standing up and talking about, which don't matter to me. I'll go to a shelter. Nobody want to hear that. And them children ain't got time for that. It's not like that. Right. It's don't say anything else. Because you just told the truth. It isn't like that. It's not like that. That is not what you want. No, I want him to be my child father. Right. Right. But I'm as meaning as if he is not, then we're not holding him to be there. I don't want him to feel like that. Of course. What you're saying is, is I don't want you to feel on the hook. Yeah, the whole time I want him to be the dad, though. Exactly. 
Yes. And it wasn't coming across that way. No. But I, kn- I, I know that was your intention. Yes. The doubt is real. Yes. And we have the answers. Jerome, envelope, please. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Van Meter versus Watkins, when it comes to three-year-old DeCedre Watkins, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Watkins, you are the father. Oh. All right. Ooh. That's my boy right there. Yeah. No wonder he's so damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I've never heard that. But, Mr. Watkins, I'm so glad that Cedre will have his daddy in his life and you will be able to be there and, most importantly, be able to break the generational curse that you spoke about when you first began to testify in this courtroom that you had made up your mind you were going to be the father you did not have. Right? Right. And not only be the father, but be the example. So you know from this moment forward, he's taking his cues from you. If he takes it from you, he'll be a hell of a man. But I'm glad you did, Miss Van Meter. And you need to know how lucky you are. Oh, and, I am. I and know I'm honor lucky. that. I know I'm lucky. All right. Take care of your beautiful family. Court is adjourned.